Okay, so here's the Bluetooth speaker I was talking about. Um, getting for uh, the bathroom when I go to sleep. This one is water resistant, IPX7. It has two subwoofers and it has two high ends. So I'm not gonna play any music because you know the reason why. YouTube is, is a freak show when it comes to copyrighted music. And I don't have non-copyrighted music. And I don't have another camera to try to uh, film it so I can play music on my phone that might be non-copyrighted. So please don't get on here being rude about that. I don't wanna have to block anybody. Okay, so with that being said, let's see what we got. And uh, let me go ahead and do this off camera, then I'll be right back. All right, so let's see what we got. From what I understand, this is a really good Bluetooth speaker. I've seen a lot of reviews on it. One of the problems with those reviews is that they all fail to mention that the speaker has two subwoofers. And on the reviews, the cameras usually make it look pretty big. There's some information right here. But in all reality, the speaker isn't that big with it somewhere. But it's heavy, I can tell you that much. This is a very, very heavy speaker. They are right about that. Okay. So, Anchord works. Anchord works. Just put the speaker down. It is very heavy. It's got some weight to it, so that ought to say a lot. That says a lot when the speaker has some weight to it. Put that there for now. Yep, it has some weight to it. This thing is very heavy. So, it's well made. I can tell you that much. Let's go ahead and see if we can... Let me try to get my uh, tripod set up where I can try to pull this out without having to hold the camera. I'll be right back. All right, so y'all can see it. And uh, here we go. I'm going to sit down and try to do this. Not so sure it's going to work out. But it's worth giving it a try. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this pulled out of here. Speaker, it's pretty decent. Encore works. Let's see if we can get this pulled out of the box here. Oh, they got some tape on here holding it together. So let me try to uh, peel this tape off so that we can release the box. I'm glad that they did it this way so that it won't be uh, damaged. Good looking out, Encore works. At least you all have enough sense to package this well so that the speaker will not become pack, uh, damaged. Especially when you paid almost 40 bucks for it. Thank you so very much. Now let's see if we can, hope y'all can see it okay. Let's see if we can get this out of here. And let's see what we got. Okay, so there's tape on the other side. Let's see if we can peel that off. I do apologize for showing this on camera. I should have did this off of camera, but unfortunately I didn't feel like it. I just want to hurry up and get this video out of the way. Again, I do apologize. So just bear with me while I try to get this uh, tape off of here so we can get the speaker out of here. Thank you so very much today for kindly watching the video. I think we got it. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Yes. And once again, speaker. There you go. Now let's take it out. First of all, right off the bat, you get some informations right here. Go, informations. If you hear the wind noise from the fan, I do apologize. Maybe I should turn it off, but I'm hot, so I'm not going to do that. I do apologize for that, too. Hopefully, y'all can see it. Informations. Your basic connections. A charger cord. Auxiliary cable. Of course, this right here is the information on how to use the speaker. And 
And, well, here's the heavy speaker. Let's see if we can pull it out. They give you something else right here. Oh, okay. This is if you want to, like, want to carry it with you or you want to hook it onto something. So they give you a strap. Let's see if we can get this thing out of here. It appears that they give you some extra feet right here. I don't know if y'all can see this in the camera. Extra feet. Little tiny rubber feet if you lose the ones on the speaker. That's really nice of them to do that. And now let's try to pull this heavy thing out of here and get it open. Hopefully y'all can see that. If you can, I do apologize. I'm trying hard to film this on the tripod. And I ask that y'all bear with me today as I try to pull this speaker out of here. All right, so it's got the two woofers right there. I mean, sorry, yeah, the two high ends right there, two high ends. Then you have your subwoofer right here on the top. Y'all see it okay? You have your subwoofer right there on the top. Then you have a subwoofer, which all the other reviews failed to mention, on the bottom. Subwoofer on the bottom. Then on the back of it, you have your port right here because it is waterproof to cover up your basic connections which is your uh, you got your port right there for auxiliary and you have the other port for charging that's what that is I'm not sure what this is right here I know that's for that strap and then you have your you know if you can see it you have your volume controls you have the play and pause, and you have the power. So let's try to power it up. I'm not gonna play no music, I don't wanna get in trouble. Let's try to power it up. Powering on. Okay, so there you go, you heard powering on. Okay. My bad, I do apologize. And that's all y'all gonna get. Because I have to try to reconnect it to the phone, and I'm not gonna do that while I'm filming and powering off all right so now the power is off the light just went off and uh, here's the name go on card works All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, and I do apologize. I'm sorry for all the mess ups. I did try to do this as the best way I could on the uh, tripod, being I'm in such a tight spot. I knew I should have did it over there on the over there where I usually film on my table, but again, I didn't feel like doing that. So I do ask kindly that you don't leave rude comments, please. I don't want to block anyone. And uh, have a blessed evening. God bless you and gone. Thanks for watching.